welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you've joined us today. Today we are going to be working with acrylic skins again. Now if you don't know what acrylic skins are, they are for poor painters. What is at the bottom of a pour box after all the paint goes over the sides and you're like, I've wasted all this paint, what do I do with them? You can peel those skins out and you'll have something that looks sort of like this. And there's a smaller one that's been used and sometimes you get some really gnarly looking skins out of the bottom. And you're like, I've wasted all of that paint. What am I gonna do with them? So this is an idea of what to do with them. If you would like to learn how to make acrylic skins, if you'd like to make jewelry, you can check out my video that I'll put a card up on the screen. And uh, I also have other ideas and other videos on what to do with acrylic skins. In this video, we are going to be making keychains or luggage tags. And this is just a really, really simple thing that you can do with your acrylic skins. So what you'll first need is an acrylic skin. Uh, so any of them, I've got a whole bunch here. And I'm actually going to be doing, since we are close to Valentine's Day when I'm making this video, I am going to be making a key ring and I'm going to be using this acrylic skin. Put this away. These are acrylic forms that you can buy on Amazon. They come in packs and they usually come with pieces to make keychains. So you can just get a kit like this and they're great for doing this project. You can of course cut the acrylic if you want to. But what we'll need is one of these or two of these. Let me go ahead and grab another one because I'm gonna show an easy way to do it if you don't want to use epoxy resin. You also can resin these, but I have decided, if you'll take a look at this one, to sandwich the two, that way I don't have to do resin. You will need a bigger O-ring for that, and you can just attach it like so. And I have not taken the plastic off of these. There's a protective plastic covering, so be aware. They don't look clear because there's a plastic covering on both sides, and you will need to remove that if you're using these forms from Amazon or another carrier or a hobby store. So for this one, what you'll need is an acrylic skin. This one's kind of a blinged out acrylic skin. And you're just going to find where you want to position that on your skin, where you like it. This is pretty cool for me, so I'm gonna put mine right here. And in doing that, you're gonna need a few things. One thing you're going to need is diamond glaze, water-based dimensional adhesive. You may have seen me use this before. So I'm gonna use this to attach my skin and I'm gonna need time to let that dry. So I will need to remove one of the papers or protective film from the back of the acrylic form. It just removes really easy, it's just a clean. And then try not to get my fingers on it. I'm gonna position it like so. So I could take my diamond glaze and you can use other things. What I like about diamond glaze for this application is that it does dry clear. You really won't see it. You could use another type of glue, but you take the chance of seeing that. So we're just going to put our glue on the outside. You can use your finger. You can use a popsicle stick. Just going to put the glue on in a very thin layer so it doesn't bunch up. And then we're going to place it where we want onto our skin. And we're gonna press it down and we now can leave it. Now this is the time before you do this, if you want to, you can add letters to this, you can add stickers to this. We're making a heart one for Valentine's Day coming up, which is also my birthday. So we're gonna make a heart one just to celebrate that. But for any of them, you would just pick where you want to do it and you can put it wherever you want it to be and then put anything in the glass that's flat. It causes some problems if you're using anything that has any movement to it that's bumpy, but as long as it's flat, uh, fairly flat, it will be fine. Okay, so we're gonna let this stay here. This needs to cure for a little while. It doesn't take too long for this to cure. Remember to close up your glue. I don't do that and then my glue dries out and we'll be back and we'll talk about what to do next. Okay, I'm back and we have our heart for the keychain glued down very well. You can see, perfectly clear. 
and it's dry. It's been 24 hours. I'm gonna take some scissors. These are just surgical scissors, but you could use regular scissors. And we're just going to cut around the acrylic form, just like so, as close as we can get it. If you had a punch this size, you could punch the hearts out and glue them that way. Then you wouldn't have to do this particular step. But this is easy if you don't have a punch to do it this way. Right around the heart. The surgical scissors are a little more precise. I may have to go in and do a little bit of trimming. The glue has come out just a little bit. I'll try to be sparing with the glue. So I need to just trim it up just a little bit more. Now, I'm gonna put my skin away. Now I have my keychain ready to go. Now, at this point, if you're working with children, you might just consider stopping at this point. Um, this would be a very, very easy craft for them. But there's a couple of ways you can go to finish it. If you don't want to use the epoxy resin on the back of this, which you can to seal it, you can keep it very thin, what I do is pull the plastic off. That protects it. And you can take another form, another acrylic form, and just put it on the back. That's gonna make it a lot more chunky. And you don't have to acrylic resin it. It's very easy. So. All we have to do is glue this down with our diamond glaze. Now, what you can do is you can put some diamond glaze on, put some glitter on. There's a little bit of glitter actually on the back of this one. And we can do that too. That's just another step. And then we can put it on. We can also put stickers on this and finish it any way we want to. What I like to go ahead and do is take a pen just to make sure my holes have lined up and punch through to the other side. Just to make sure, because the worst thing you do is have a keychain where your holes don't line up and then you have to remake it. So I'm just going to do this. Now you can see on this side, it looks okay. We're gonna let that dry, that will dry clear the rest of the way. And we'll have our keychain. So to do this, usually if you get a kit, which is the easiest way to do it, or you need a keychain ring and an O-ring, if you do it this way, you will need larger O-rings. You can't use the super small O-rings to do this. You'll need a larger O-ring to do it. As you can see on this one, there is a larger O-ring. So it just depends. If you use single, you can go ahead and use the smaller O-rings. You're gonna need a larger O-ring, this O-ring, is open in the middle and you'll need to take pliers and bend it open. This is a very hefty o-ring but you can get them a lot smaller and a lot thinner than this. So whatever you have either handy or you can get a hold of. So you'll just have to open up the ring. So once you've just bent it open you'll stick your o-ring through here like so and you'll be able to attach your key ring. Attach your key ring. And then just close up your ring. You just close up your key ring and then you are good to go. You can also make these into luggage tags. You can put initials on these if you want to. You can just get a carabiner like this. You don't have to use the key ring. You can put it straight through here as a luggage tag. This is a great way to be able to tell your bag from someone else's by putting this on there. And then you have a tag to see when it comes down that conveyor belt if you're traveling. So that's a fun little thing that you can do. And it's just that easy.